Thank you for all your work, Gabby. Thank you very much. Thank you. When news of the Nashville Waffle House shooting emerged on Sunday, one of the people speaking out was former Arizona Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, a gun safety advocate who's called for all assault weapons, like the one used in Nashville, to be registered under the National Firearms Act. Let's go. Giffords herself was shot in the head at close range in 2011. Uh, we're delighted to have Gabby Giffords. Yay. And her work as a gun violence activist is all the more grueling because of her injuries. Thank you for all your work, Gabby. Thank you very much. Thank you. But that's not stopping her from charging ahead. We did this before. Yes, yes. We did it before. Yes. And we'll sing home together. Exhale. In the beginning, it was super interesting because Gabby would really only work. We would do everything one-sided. You know, we went from, what, crutches yes. to a cane to the dog to nothing. She's so busy. She travels so much and works 50, so 50. much. 50-50. Yeah, 50-50? 50-50. Okay, well, that's, it's good to keep that balance, but sometimes we've got to sort of bring it back and, and bring it back home and bring it back to center. Because especially when you have something devastating happen, Shot in my head. I know. What the Weird. hell? <laughs> what was that all about? Uh, <laughs> Safeway store. When Gabby went back to the Safeway store. store, a year after she was injured, she remembered basically two things. She remembered where she parked. Where she parked. Yes. And then you remembered something else. Oh, um, mittens. Mittens. Did somebody bring you mittens? Yes. Because it was cold. Yes. But that's it. So largely because see, Gabby was the first person shot, and also that she was shot in the head. Gabby being injured, I don't think it necessarily has changed what I felt the definition of being a good husband is. It might not be the job that somebody else would do. You know, I just try to do the, the best I can under the circumstances that we've been dealt with. Gabby wins contentious race, November 8th, 2006. My wife was in the hospital, still getting treatment for her traumatic brain injury and doing therapy and surgery. I can't uh, overemphasize the importance of compartmentalization, which is focusing on the stuff you have some control over and not worrying about the stuff outside of your control. Not to, to the gun, gun lobby. lobby. To the gun lobby. Oh to the gun lobby. I think my role is part of many different important roles in your recovery. I mean, certainly working on your communication and your language skills and getting words to come more easily, being able to resume your public speaking life, I think has been really important. So let's do just this part. We'll always stand, stand up, up to the gun lobby. Good. Always, Good. We'll always stand, stand up to the gun, gun lobby. Good. You know, the gun lobby says this, these reforms are an infringement on your rights. They're not. Nobody's trying to take away anybody's Second Amendment right if you're a responsible person. Gabby and I are both gun owners. Um, I've owned a firearm my entire adult life. I mean, Gabby, from... Soon Civil War, Arizona. Yeah. Wild West. So, I mean, she was the congresswoman who had Tombstone, Arizona. So, of course, she should own a firearm. Yes. And this isn't about, like, you know, responsible gun ownership. You know, this is about the irresponsible people out there. Okay. Visit. I miss Congress a lot. Yeah. I miss Congress a lot. What do you miss about Congress? I'm so busy. It was a busy job? Busy job, but a good, good job. We must stop gun violence. 
protect our children, our future, Almost. Uh, our students. Let them lead the way. Stopping gun violence takes courage. The courage to do what's right, the courage of new ideas. I've seen great courage when my life was on the line. We must protect, educate, and inspire the future. Be bold, be courageous. The nation's counting on you. Thank you very much.